Okay. We are here today at Greater Gatineau to learn about the Daily Bread Project. You did it! So you said you know yes. You were like, Michael. <laughs> what is the Daily Bread Project? Well, it's a, pro it, it's a project for every class. They have a day where they make a certain meal that's healthy out of fruits, vegetables, noodles, meat, very healthy choices with low fat and sugar, and low fat and low sugar. And uh, it's very healthy and most kids like it. I can't think of any kids who don't. What about this one? Tristan said he liked this one. So this one looked... I felt very privileged to do this program. And um, I have to say that it just was so exciting, first of all, <laughs> to, be, to start something like this in our school. Definitely, when we're at the grocery store, there's lots of opportunities to learn and to practice our math because we're comparing prices and uh, estimating and seeing what's higher and lower and better deal. You mean Here, I told you, and I'm just throwing half a No. I don't even know what cannelloni is. Okay, so I'm going to show you what it looks like. Bread. Pasta. Oh, pasta. See? Oh Here's the tubes right here. Uh, well, just I think it's extremely important right now, just if you look at kind of like health statistics across Canada and how a lot of families have lost that art of cooking. And not that it's that difficult to cook in a good meal, but people just aren't doing that anymore. And so there's so much more fast food and frozen food in the daily diet of people. And uh, if people can get back to knowing how to cook a meal, then I think, you know, health wise, everybody will be better off. Yeah. Well, one more thing I have to say. Oh, if you don't like most of the vegetables or, or fruits, don't eat them. Just find another type of fruit that you really love in this cake. And this stay in, just stay in shape. Ice cream? So why do you think we can't have ice cream and daily bread? It's, oh, because it's sugar. Yeah. Well, what we can either do is, because you have ice cream recipes that we can make healthy ice cream, but, like, or, you know what I thought we should do? Let's make these freezies, but with, like, the yogurt. You make yogurt freezies. What I like about the Daily Bread Project is that it is a nutrition course, it is about teaching kids how to eat healthy, how to prepare healthy food, but it's done in the context of the whole school environment. So not only are we talking nutrition and cooking, but it involves elements of their math class when they come and they're looking at measuring out recipes. Um, when we go shopping, there's a lot of price comparisons. So what are you cooking? Uh, Thursday. Oh. Are you part of the cooking or the cleaning? Cooking. Okay. Oh, maybe you're part of cleaning. You're doing nope. a good job. Nope. <laughs> Here, Marcus, he's in grade five, and he loves the daily bread program. <laughs> he has learned how much sugar is in a lot of foods that he did not know about, and canned vegetables opposed to fresh vegetables and how to shop a little more thrifty. <laughs> right now I'm learning, learning how to dry dishes. <laughs> so when they get to sit down and share a meal together, they feel that warmth and they feel that community and they can share their caring for each other. And they see that they're being taken care of. You know, taken care of, not that we're making them the meals, but taken care of that we're giving you the tools to do that when you get older or giving you the education so that you know what healthy eating is. Eat plenty of fruit every day. Um, make sure that you're picking a good choice when you go to the grocery store. And uh, uh, whatever you're eating, make sure it doesn't have too much uh, calories.